Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from DevDectic and the Ionic Academy. Today we will build a simple token input with Ionic. So I've already started a blank new app and the first thing we need to do is install an npm package called angular 2 tech input and we want to save it so add this um, this package will help us to build a simple input field which will automatically make tokens from our input values so you might know this from Facebook like the hashtags um, and it's more or less the same so to get started after installing it we need to add it to our imports inside the app module so um, rl tag input module and of course make sure to import it from angular to tag input okay now we're already good to go so we go to our home ts um, we got two options now, so we could uh, use it um, with auto suggestions or without. So we will take a look at both. Um, I will craft also a little UI around it so it makes a bit more sense here. Um, so we will build an input for a name and the topics so you can add some uh, talks um, to your app in our case we will just add them in a uh, array here but of course you could save this wherever you like to so once we add a talk we call this dot talks dot push um, and we create a new object with the current name and also with an array of topics which is this dot topics so we really see this package in action. Um, we will go to auto suggestions later. So for now, let's go to our home HTML and call it my talks. And we can remove most of this here. And the first item is just for um, our name input. So this is nothing special. Uh, for now, we just use ng model and this is the name, perhaps a placeholder, um, my awesome talk, and that's it for the first input. Uh, now the second input is actually more interesting one. So here we use the uh, package we installed, which is RL tech input. Now we got a few options to add here. So first of all, the ng model for this is our um, topics array. Uh, perhaps we can close this and open it side by side. So you see our variables as well. Okay, so we got the topics array which will be filled from our input field. And we got an option add on blur and we want to have this to false because otherwise the field would try to add the tokens once the field loses focus but I don't think we sh we don't need this here um, perhaps also a placeholder like topics and that's already everything here and we close it now we need a button to actually add our input and this button will call our function add talk. Yeah, so add talk here. Um, to see that we actually have added something and how it looks, we build a simple ion list with items. We iterate over our talks. We print out the talk name and we also print out our topics but we will do it a bit different because our topics array um, is an array so we join all the elements of the array just divided by a simple space okay ion list and we're good to go 
So let's see how our app looks like. Nothing really fancy here. So Simon's Ionic talk perhaps. If we now go to topics and let's say we add hashtag Ionic um, and press enter, we see that our string just got tokenized. Um, currently, I think it tries to separate once you're making a comma. So yes, if I write a comma, it will automatically try to craft a token from it. I can remove those tokens again. And again, I can add just like this. Now, if I add a talk, we see that we got the name and the array with the three values right here. But this is, of course, not everything. Um, so what we can do as well now is to add autocomplete. And therefore, we could add autocomplete equals true. And now we need some autocomplete items. So a list of uh, perhaps prepared text from which the user can then select. Now let's go back to our TS file and add prepared, uh, what was it, text. And now you could build an array of hashtags, whatever you like, uh, Angular, whatever. Of course, we're not limited to hashtags here. I'm just doing this because uh, it's best known with hashtags but you could do everything. Okay, enough for now. So now we go back uh, once it's loaded and our field will now use the autocomplete function and look up inside the prepared text array. So again, we name it my talk. And now if I start with I, I get this drop down of all the words with I. If I go ahead IO, I can select Ionic if I had start with J, I got only JavaScript or A with Angular and JavaScript. So now I can use all of this right here. And if I type again, I, uh, I won't see the uh, Ionic again. So I can add them and it appears right here. You could now also change the UI of these elements a bit, but it's a bit more tricky inside the CSS but you can check out the according uh, quick win on the Ionic Academy to see how you could also change the UI here a bit. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this short quick win. We saw how to easily use the um, Angular tech input package to build this cool Ionic input field with tokenized function. So if you want to get more videos, make sure to subscribe to this channel and also check out the ionicacademy.com for more Ionic training videos, content and a great active community. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.